वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टैंडर्ड नाइन वी आर हेयर इन द एक्सरसाइज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट थ्री एंड विल कंटिन्यू आफ्टर द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सो सी फर्स्ट हेयर वी आर टू बी फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ दिस इनक्लोज सेक्शन दिस एरिया इज इनक्लोज इन बिटवीन टू कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल वन इज द बिगर सर्कल विद रेडियस आर कैपिटल आर एंड अनदर इज द स्मॉलर वन विद रेडियस स्मॉल आर सो हाउ वी कैन गेट द एरिया ऑफ दिस सेक्शन दिस सैडेड सेक्शन सो here we have the area if we want to calculate the area of the bigger circle then we will use that radius r so see pi r square is the area pi capital r square is the area of the bigger circle and it is subtracted that means uh, uh, the area of the smaller smaller circle is pi r square it is smaller okay so this is pi r square and this smaller this area of the smaller circle is subtracted from the area of the bigger circle and then we will get the area of this enclosed section okay so in this way we can calculate this area enclosed in between two concentric circle and for that we have pi r square here r is for the bigger circle and minus pi r square here the r is for the smaller circle and see it is a pi whole into r square minus r square okay or we can write pi r plus r r minus r correct so these are the formulas we can use now see if we have the solution of question number 12 so here in the question it is given that the circumference of a road okay so now suppose we can consider the same figure here we are considering that this one is the road okay this one is the road and the circumference that we are considering is for this this section this smaller circle so if circumference is given 44 cent meter it is then we know the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r remember this part the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r and here as small r is the radius so that's why it is 2 pi r and that's why r equals to see the calculation pi we can take 22 by 7 and here 2 multiplied 22 by 7 multiplied r is equal to 44 that that's why r is equal to 44 into 7 divided by 2 into 22 and that is r equals to that gives r equal to 7 meter okay so we have the radius of the inner circle okay now as it is given in the question the width the road is wide up to 3.5 meter okay so if it is uh, the width is given 3.5 meter then we can get the total uh, what say the area the radius of the bigger one bigger circle so here this is the smaller circle with the radius 7 as we have calculated by the circumference and this is the width 3.5 so total the capital r that means the total radius the bigger uh, the radius for the bigger circle is r equals to you can see 7 plus 3.5 that is 10.5 meter correct and now if you want to get the area of this road this road is actually the area enclosed in between those two concentric circles with the radius 7 and 10.5 meters okay so we know we have the formulas so the the formula that i have used used here area of the road is equal to pi into r plus r into r minus r okay and see the calculation it is 22 by 7 10.5 plus 7 uh, into 10.5 minus 7 and see that is calculated up to 192 meter square 192.5 meter square so this is the area of the road now it is given in the question that we have to pave the road and the cost of paving the road is 50 rupees 50 per meter square and we have the area 192.5 meter square so it is multiplied with 50 and we will get this part so rupees 9 9625 is the cost is the cost of paving now see we are here in the question number 11 11 bit b 11 bit a is also same as 11 bit b okay so see here we 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 have to calculate one of the radius one of the radius of those two circle one is one radius is given so how one radius is given because here in the question you can see circumference of the inner circle is given and in the previous question we have solved if we have the circumference we can calculate the radius okay so in the same way see circumference of the inner circle is equal to 2 pi r is equal to 88 because the circumference is 88 it is given in the question so we can easily calculate 2 pi r is equal to uh, 88 then after put the value of pi 2 and we'll get r equals to 14 cm you can calculate by your own okay this one you can calculate so we have the small r that means the inner the radius of the inner circle now we know that area of the enclosed area enclosed in between 
those two circles is equal to pi capital R square minus R, small r square okay and we have this small r square and we have to calculate this capital R okay so in the question it is given the area of this section the shaded section is 346.5 centimeter square so we just put all those values and then after see it is r square minus 14 square see r square minus 14 square is equal to 347.5 and uh, 22 by 7 is here so it is a uh, uh, 7 by 22 it is multiplied here and finally we will we'll get here i square is equal to r square is equal to uh, 100 110.25 and this 196 which is the square of 14 is transported to right hand side and it is added so r is equal to square root of 306.25 and then after the radius of the outer circle this is the answer 17.5 centimeter correct so this is the answer so in the same way if we have only the capital r that means we have the circle of the radius of the bigger circle so we can calculate the radius of the smaller one in the same way okay so you do yourself uh, the bit a for this question now see we are here in the question number 13 it is different from those two questions that we have solved so here in the question it is given that the di the the yeah it is given the sum of diameters okay so first of all while we beginning the solution we have written the diameters are 2 r that is twice of radius for the bigger one for the bigger circle and for the smaller one it is 2 r 2 smaller okay so this is so sum of diameter is given in the question 14 centimeter so as we have uh, considered the diameter as 2 r and 2 r so it is 2 r plus 2 r is equal to 14 centimeters so r plus r see 2 is taken common so r plus r is equal to 1 by 2 of 14 that is 7 so this is the uh, r plus r is equal to 7 meter okay so uh, if we have r plus r and we know that we know that in our formula if we have sm uh, capital r plus small r and then after you, if we have capital r minus small r then we can calculate the area okay so that's why see r plus r is equal to 7 and then after as we have to calculate the two r's also so that's why i have taken this line also or this r is in the term of capital r this is small r in the term of capital r so small r is equal to 7 minus capital r okay later we are going to use this relation so now come to the given condition once again difference of circumference is given 8, eight centimeter okay and we know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r for both the for both the circles so here we have capital r here we have small r so 2 pi r minus 2 pi r is equal to 8 so 2 pi it can be taken common and r minus r see as i said we, we will get the here r, r minus r okay so it is equal to 18 and then after 8 it is so it is uh, see after cross multiplication 2 is divided here and 22 so 44 is divided here and 8 into 7 so r minus r we got here 14 by 11 correct r minus r is 14 by 11 see the last line so as we have r plus r and we have r minus r so we can easily calculate the area later i have calculated this but in the question it is asked that we have to calculate the value of small r and the value of capital r okay so see here we have r minus r 14 by 11 as i have calculated as in the previous line so we substitute that value of r see i said now I have said that we are going to use this so that's why r minus the value of small r is r minus 7 minus r so after that it is r plus r minus 7 so 7 can be taken to the right hand side and it is added so here 2r is equal to 14 by 7 7 to 7 whole divided by 11 see it is 14 by 11 plus 7 so after taking the 11 as lcm you know how to calculate those so overall uh, we have finally got this part see the overall calculation done here and we are getting the final part r equals to 91 divided by 2 centimeters so this is the value of capital r that means the outer radius so we can calculate the inner radius too so first of all we have the circumference yeah we have to calculate the circumference no? so that's why see circumference uh, for the uh, bigger circle so this is 2 into 22 by 7 into this is the radius 2 pi r is the formula so we have 26 centimeter as the circumference of the bigger circle with the radius capital r with the radius this 91 by 22 meter now we have to calculate the small r so we know the previous relation r equals to 7 minus capital r see 
the previous one see here r equals to 7 minus capital r so see the second last line it is r is equal to 7 minus 92 uh, by 22 uh, sorry 91 by 22 and it is subtracted taken the lcm uh, 22 is taken as lcm so 1 154 minus 91 it is 63 by 22 centimeters so this is the small r this means the radius of the inner circle so if you want to calculate the circumference we have the relation 2 pi r see the last line so see the circumference is equal to 2 into pi into r okay and after calculation we will get 18 so 18 centimeter is the circumference for the inner circle now this is not given in the question but i have calculated just to show you so here we have r plus r 7 and r minus r 14 by 11 and we can easily calculate the area enclosed in between two those two circles those, those two concentric circles so it is pi into r plus r into r minus r so here it is done see 22 by 7 into 7 into 14 by 11 so it is 28 centimeter square correct so now go to the next question yeah i have solved the question number 16 this is explained here and the previous one like for 14 and 15 number 14 and 15 you can solve if you get this idea okay because here you have the area okay and area by using the area how you you, you can calculate the area of the other one okay so the circle that means here in the question is given let me read the question number 16 the a copper wire when bent in the form of equilateral triangle so remember that one thing remain constant here that is the length of the copper wire and when it is bent like a equilateral triangle then we have a triangle and the total length of the copper wire can be calculated by the perimeter okay and if the copper wire is bent like a circle then we can calculate then we can calculate the circumference of that circle okay as the length of the copper wire so first of all we have this equilateral triangle the area is given so by using the area we can calculate the one side okay each of the side are equal so we can calculate the side length so it is see the area is given 121 square root 3 centimeter square and we have the formula for the equilateral triangle the area is square root by square root 3 by 4 a square so a is the side so finally a is equal to 22 see the calculation is done so 22 centimeter is the length of one side then after what about the perimeter of this of this equilateral triangle that will give the length of the copper wire so it is 3 into 22 that is 3 into side so a plus a plus a that is 22 plus 22 plus 22 so we have 66 so i have not calculated that part i have just taken that only 3 into 22 uh, centimeter and then after the circumference it is this 3 into 22 is same as the circumference of the circle so that's why 2 pi r is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into r is equal to the perimeter the length of the this, this is the length of the wire okay so 3 into 22 is 66 is the length of the wire correct so after that r equals to you know the calculation the rest of the calculation you know so we'll get this 22 22 cancelled and 7 is multiplied here with the 3 so 21 by 2 centimeter is the radius of that circle now as we got the radius of the circle as 21 by 5 centimeter or you can write 10.5 okay so better if you take in fraction 21 by 2 centimeters so then after you can easily calculate the area see area of the calcul area of the circle is calculated yeah in the area of the circle that is the enclosed that is the area enclosed by the wire is pi r square so see the calculation is done here and we have the answer 346.5 centimeters square so in the same way you can calculate the previous things okay so first here remember one thing the length of the wire if the wire is bent in the form of circle or any other shape so you have to calculate the length okay so use that idea and solve the previous two questions now here we have a different kind of questions we have the different kind of questions so that's why first see if we have this kind of circle so in the circle at the center the total angle the total angle forming by a radius is equal to 360 okay at the center so if it is 360 degree see you can easily understand by this arrows so this is 360 degree and area that you know for the circle is pi r square now suppose we are considering a semicircle then at the center the a the angle will be 180 degree 
understand try to understand this part it is 180 degree okay so 180 degree divided by 360 so this is gives the half so as it is a semicircle that is half of the area so that's why 1 by 2 pi r square is the area of the semicircle correct now suppose it is divided by four times so obviously the area will be one fourth okay and one more thing here if it is a quadrant so the angle will be see the angle will be here uh, 90 degree okay so 90 degree so 90 degree divided by 360 that is one fourth okay so one fourth of the total area gives the area of the quadrant now the angles I have given here as because if you will get any other angle like if you get 60 degree then you have to take 60 divided by 60 divided by 360 times so that is 1 by 6th of the area correct if we have 30 degree this angle I'm talking about the angle at the center if we have 30 degree then 30 divided by 360 okay I hope that all are you understanding this part you have to take the angle and the total angle the whatever the angle here okay and divided by the total angle that is 360 and that much time of the total area gives the area of that part that section okay now question number 17 solved here see the explanation question number 17b 17a this is a homework okay so it is a your task to solve uh, 17 bit a so bit b i have solved here for the rectangle yeah see first of all see the figure okay from the figure you are understanding the whole part as because this is a circle and in the question we have we have only the yeah we have only the radius of the circle okay so if this radius is 3 then this is also 3 so 3 plus 3 is the diameter and 3 plus 3 for the diameter of this circle and this one is 3 so total length we can calculate 15 centimeter so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 hope that you are understanding this part and this radius is all this if you calculate the radius in this way so it is also 3 centimeter so see if it is 3 this part is also 3 so the diameter gives this breadth okay so breadth is equal to 6 centimeter so that's why for the rectangle length is equal to 5 centimeter and breadth is equal to 6 centimeter and the area of this uh, rectangle is equal to l into b that is 15 into 6 that is 90 correct okay so then after see area of those circles you have two circles and one semicircle so 2 into pi r square that is pi r square plus pi r square plus 1 by 2 pi r square this is the semicircle so 1 by 2 pi r square, half of the area so see uh, pi r square is taken common and 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 5 by 2 so pi r square into 5 by 2 and after putting all this value it is given in the question pi should be taken here 3.1 by 4 so that's why i have taken 3.1 by 4 as the value of pi and then after this is 3 into 3 that is the radius okay and into 5 by 2 okay this is the this will give the area so uh, 17.65 centimeter square is the area of those two circles and this semicircle and this circle this uh, area is subtracted from this total area that is 90 centimeter square and then we will get the area of these sections okay this whitish sections so the remaining area that is the required unsaddled area is equal to 90 centimeters square minus 70.65 centimeters square so we will get 19.35 centimeters square so this is the answer okay now for the question number 18 you can solve question number 18 and 19 we have I have given the hint sir okay see for the bit B bit A you can solve see the bit B get the idea from this one and this one see here this is the figure and the diameter first it is given that the yeah in the question it is given the side of the square is 14 centimeters so if this side this is a square and if one of the side is 14 any of the side is 14 centimeter then it can be divided into two parts 7 plus 7 and the 7 is gives the the 7 gives the the 7 is actually the diameter of one circle okay so 7 is the diameter of one circle each circle and the radius is diameter divided by 2 that is 7 divided by 2 centimeters so we have the radius now and now if we want to calculate the area of the shaded region these are the shaded region this bluish colors okay so we have to first calculate the area of the square okay say so area of the square and then after it is subtracted okay so the and the area of the four circle see this is the area of the four circle and this area of the four circle is subtracted from the area of the square and then we will get the area of that 
the required area the area of the salad region now here in the bit c in the question number 19 bit c we have the hint here uh, this uh, diameter of the semicircle is given 14 centimeters so we know if diameter is 14 centimeter then the radius will be 7 centimeter correct so 7 centimeter is the radius it is given here and now for the rectangle see this one is the rectangle so for this rectangle we can calculate the area by taking the length as 14 centimeter and the breadth is 7 centimeter okay so length is 14 centimeter breadth is 7 centimeter so you can find out the area of the saddle region as area of the semicircle this is the area of the semicircle okay by using the radius 7 and then after the area of this rectangle okay and if those two are added and then after we are subtracting those two parts this and this these are the two quadrant with the same radius that is the radius is 7 so a 2 into area of the quadrant is subtracted and this is how we will get the required area so this is all for today thank you class